This is crazy, Chicago. Check on y'all people, man. Two killed. What's going on? It's my life of the shot. I'm your host, Donna Washington. The end of a bloody summer in Chicago. Chicago shootings, 56 shot, 9 fatally in weekend violence. One of the first ones I want to bring you guys was shot by the police. Terrell Brown, 28 years old, on 6500 block of South Harvard Street in Inglewood, Chicago, Sunday, September 19th. Story's going to read that they... Police were responding to a domestic dispute between Terrell Brown, Terrell Brown and his girlfriend. Allegedly, them two were arguing, fussing, fighting, and the police were called. When they got there, Terrell Brown was in his bedroom. Girlfriend was in the living room. Um, the family wants to know, was that the last resort to shoot him? They're alleging, the police are alleging that he wouldn't put the knife down, and so they resorted into shooting him. I want to bring you guys to that block. This is the block. This is the 6500 block of South Harvard and Inglewood. This is it here. All right? This is the block here. Also, also September 16th, Mexican Independence Day. Chicago has a vast Mexican population. Should have been a very Fun, peaceful day. The downtown was shut down. The highways were shut down with celebration. However, would end in tragedy for one young man that you see right there, Christopher Toritos, 25 years old, ended up in tragedy after a fight in the Jewels parking lot on the 1300 block of South Canal, University Village, West Side of Chicago. Simple argument. That ended up in tragedy. In the video, you can hear him say, yo, man, I'm a neutron. I'm a neutron. You gonna come in a neutron like that? What's going on? Apparently, the other cats allegedly were gangbangers. And like men, you can knuckle up and fight. In this video, you can see dude was kind of pushing his girl. The dude like, hold up, dude. What's going on with you? Trying to break it up. And them two knuckle up. As men should be able to knuckle up. But you're gonna see one cat come in on the red. Simple fight, and dude was actually getting the best of dudes. Didn't even have to shoot him. Snuck him up and fight. Ended up pulling out a gun, shooting him in the head. For absolutely no reason. That's it. That's how quick your life could be ended. Ain't even worth fighting and arguing with nobody anymore. Just walk away and go home nowadays. However, um, story's gonna read that uh, one person killed, another person was wounded at two sh shootings on the block. Thursday night in South Loop, Christopher Toritos, 25, was fighting with somebody in the parking lot of a food store in the 1300 block of South Canal Street when he was shot in the head. At about 11.45 p.m., authorities say he was taken to Stroger Hospital where he was pronounced. All these tragedies, I'm going to bring you guys all these people shot and killed. This weekend... In Chicago starting with Javier Birch 29 years old was shot and killed on the 6,000 block of South Racine Inglewood again Chicago South Side of Chicago September 16th also Charles Stark 20 years old 600 block of North Central this is in Austin West Side of Chicago September 16th Another person, uh, Brianna Omar, 25 years old, shot and killed in the early morning um, hours of 7500 South Bishop, Auburn Gresham neighborhood, South Side Chicago, September 17th. <sighs> Another young man, Demarion Janernigans, 21, shot to death on the 3100 block of West Arlington. East Garfield, West Side, Chicago, Arthington. Another young man, Charles Jackson, 34 years old, 1900 block of South St. Louis, North Lawndale, West Side, Chicago. 
Um, Artemis Terry, I know I'm going to butcher y'all names, sorry about that. 29 years old, was shot and killed on 1900 block of St. Louis, North Lawndale, West Side, Chicago. Um, Marwin Price, 31, shot to death on the 200 block of East, 121st Street, West Pullman, South Side, Chicago. Um, these two, these two. Um, Shaheen, Shaheen Younger, 28, D'Angelo Lamont, 33, were both shot and killed on the 11800 block of South Emerald, West Pullman neighborhood, Southside Chicago, September 19th, 11800 block. Are also Maurice Cole, 30 years old, 80, 8300 block of South Vincennes, Chatham neighborhood. Man, yo, Chicago, that's way, way too many. Also shot and killed, um, Kiana Clark, 16 years old, September 19th. I did not get a name right. I can't even read my own handwriting. This happened in Freeport, Illinois. Also, um, Demetriana Page, 17. This happened in Decatur, Illinois. Also, a young man was critically injured. This also September 19th. Um, Ford Heights, Dar Darwan Greenwood, 28 years old. Also in Ford Heights on different streets, same day, Nathaniel Barnes. This both, same day, September 18th, um, these two young men were killed. Same day, different street. Also, Miguel Loreno, 30 years old, Southside Chicago, was shot and killed. I bring you guys all of these. Understand, we are in a state of emergency. All of those young children I just brought you, nobody was over 40 years old, 35 years old. Every one of them was from 16 to 33. All within not even seven days. First one I did was September 16th, which was Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So from Thursday to Monday, all of those young babies' families are crushed and devastated forever. Forever and for what? Gun violence is bananas in this city, and it must stop. Appreciate everybody sending me stories. Shout out to everybody on Facebook. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, make sure you guys go to my YouTube channel, My Life in the CHI. Those of you on YouTube, you must go to my Facebook. Go to My Life in the Shot. You're going to see all my updates. I'm going to start going live on YouTube a lot more. Appreciate everybody sending me stories. Man, this is absolutely ridiculous, man. Um, something's got to be done. And... We must watch our leadership, man. A lot of people say this is a blue state. And all, all the blue states, man, you're seeing tremendous violence, man. We must evaluate that. Anyway, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.